What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, the homie Montgomery Fats. Sets a school record from 1997. I believe that quarterback was Peyton Manning. Me and him, we share a birthday. Not the same day. It's like 35 years apart. Okay, probably not because I'm kind of old. Anyways, man, you see Biggie Fats outdid him by about 109 yards exactly. I believe my math is right. Alabama, they won the national championship game in that national championship game. Nobody wanted to see. 37 to 13 versus TCU. Here goes the numbers for Biggie Fats. They don't have the INTs. I believe we threw around 50. Team maybe INTs, I'm not quite sure. They're talking about basically how we're ranked in the top 25, but not probably where we should be with a freshman All-American record holder for most passing yards at the great school of Tennessee. So we're going to be playing with a chip on our shoulders, what the homie Kirk is saying, all right? You can see that we are in no danger of losing our starting job. We're up to 83 overall, and Biggie Fats has gained three pounds, believe it or not. We are no longer 300 pounds. We are 303 pounds. That's right. We put on some weight from freshman year to sophomore year, baby. I'm excited to kick off the season. We're going to be taking on North Texas in the first half and then Cincinnati in the second half of this episode. So right now we're ranked number 24 in the nation. And we're going to run that football, try to keep this defense honest. Now it's going to be third down and six. Montgomery, as a sophomore, has he improved? I hope so. He's going to find Harris. Pat Ball is no longer here. So Harris said, excuse me, he's going to make the catch on the last play. Picks up a first down. Now we're going to go right back to the ground game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I forced him to jump off sides because Montgomery Fats cadence is epic. Hot, hot. Blue, 42. There's a booger on your shoe. Hot. You see, do, do you hear the hard count? It's magnificent, right? So... That pass on third down and 10 will fall incomplete. So right now it's going to be fourth down and 10. We will get the field goal. They will get a safety. I don't know how that happened. So, hey, we're going to be moving on in the action, okay? Three to two is the score, and Montgomery, he's lining it up, okay? He's just sitting back there, and he's dotting the eyes, as they say. Fats trying to get loose. He does. Still on his feet. It gets bumped out of bounds at around the 31-yard line. Toss play now on second down and six. And that's why we don't run the ball too much here. That gets us nothing. Third down and six. Can we convert? Fats, he can run it. But maybe we should have just went straight north and south instead of trying to get cute. So fourth and two. We're going to go for it. And Montgomery is throwing marvelous missiles all over the field. We're going to find Douglas right there. And that leads to a first down. Then we can go to the running back in the flat, and that's going to lead to a touchdown. Now, Waddle, or Weddle, excuse me, Weddle, he was our starter last year, got hurt. He's back as we throw an interception, but he's not the starter. It's going to be McLaughlin moving forward, believe it or not. I don't know why, why it's that way, because I have no control over the roster, but hey, it is what it is. Montgomery looking downfield. We're going to find J.D. Jeff Douglas making plays for me yet again. Fats. Rolling now. He can tuck it and run if he wants to, and a fat man wants to. Get off of me, he says down the sideline. Second down and 10. Fats, quick pass over the middle. That's going to be caught, and that's going to be another first down. He is Heisman ready, okay? I know it's North Texas, but the reads right now are on point. He is throwing the ball on time and on target, and he can run. And he can run. 10, about to the 8-yard line. Talking again to the five. We did not. Second down and goal. Can we get to the end zone? Yes, we can. That's Miller. That's the backup tied in. And now we are up 17 to three. Make that 17 to nine. Can throw it to Harrison. Big number 81 in the program. Number one in the heart. Rumbling and bumbling and giving every fat man the hope to play tight end one day and not left tackle or right guard or something like that. Everybody I play with who was like overweight and clearly as we throw another interception, like clearly your offensive lineman, they wanted to play fullback. You know what I'm saying? And now without the fullbacks really in football anymore, they probably all want to play tight end. And it's like, brother, you better hope to play on the D-line if you don't want to just block. My goodness gracious. Anyways, man, that pass is going to be caught by Harrison. And what's wrong with playing O-line? You know what I'm saying? Yes, you don't get none of the credit and you get most of the blame. But the job is pretty easy. Do your job for like two seconds. Just two seconds of work. 
You barely have to run anywhere. Biggie Fats, he has to run a lot because he's a quarterback and he has asthma and he breathes hard, but it's okay. We get into the end zone, but bring it on back because there was holding. You see what I mean? We got to blame the left tackle for holding, even though he was just trying to protect Biggie. Looking down, Phil, we're going to find Douglas again, and he's going to pick up the first down. Third and goal. We're going to run the ball just to get stuffed, and we will set up for a field goal yet again. But they were playing Rocky Top, so maybe we did score, and there was just a glitch. I don't know. Maybe we should have challenged it. I don't know. After the field goal, we get the ball back, and we will march downfield again. And we're going to punch it in. Biggie Fats running the football as he does so well. So, we're going to beat North Texas 27-9. to uh, We are ranked number 24. But after this week, sadly enough, we will be ranked right back at number 25. So, as long as we can stay in the top five, I'm going to dig that. But we got to get closer to the top 10 because we're trying to represent the SEC in the national championship game. At least twice. I want two national championships. No, I, want, I said one of three. I want three national championships and two Heisman trophies, okay? I want two of them things like I'm Archie Griffin or somebody, okay? I'm already better than Archie Manning's son. Let's be like Archie Griffin and get a freaking two Heisman trophy. Three high. Forget it, Three. Let's set the bar high. If you shoot for the stars, you might land on a cloud, a wise man once said. Anyways, Fats, dropping it off. We're already down by seven. That's going to be caught, and that's going to lead to a first down. First down and ten. Fats steps up. Let's a fly. That pass caught by Douglas takes a nasty hit, but he's built for tough Ford. I need my sponsor. Looking downfield, Kirk. He makes the catch. Captain Kirk, he's everywhere I need him to be. First down and ten. And the old line is struggling. Maybe the competition is a little bit better in this game than it was in the first game versus North Texas, even though Texas is known for some good football. Third down and seven. Play fake. Rolling out his fats. Turning up field as fats. He's going to slide down safe like he plays for the Tennessee baseball team. First down and ten. Harrison, he playing like Pat Ball. Harrison, he's my security blanket. But my defense, I need y'all to be that for us as well. Fats is going to slide down safe, move those chains. Down by seven. What can we do? First down and ten. Throwing it back the other way. That's going to be caught, and that's going to lead to a gain of nine. So now it's going to be second down and one. Play fake. Looking down field just to get sacked, and the ball is loose. And is that going to be a scoop and score? It is. Touchdown, Bearcats, and where is the season going? You lose one game, national championship hopes could be down the drain. Second down and two. Looking down, Phil throwing that thing. It's going to be caught. That's the homie Dennis coming through when I need him to. Inside the 10, and we're doing our thug fizzle, cooking with grease, grandma's recipe. That's going to tiptoe in his Jordans. The fake Jordans. Because most college kids shouldn't be able to afford Jordans because they're struggling eating top ramen noodles and stuff like that. Tennessee did not get him in an illegal way. It was academics and football what brought him to Tennessee. Anyway, throwing the ball to Harrison. He fumbles the football. We're still down by seven in this one. And now the Bearcats have a chance to increase their lead. But they would not because my defense is too stingy. Throwing it to Harrison again. Showing him that I trust you, dog. Everybody makes mistakes, but I got your back. I got your back. Biggie Fats, he's on his back lane. Flat down on the turf. Loss of three. Second down, 13. Rolling out to throw back to the right side. We roll to the left side. Throw it to the right side. JD with the good hands like Allstate makes the catch. Fats rolling out. Throwing it. And that pass on third and five falls incomplete. Fourth and five, though. We're going for it. Fats looking. Throwing. That's going to be caught. Move those chains that is what we do sir that is what we do fats he has space to operate inside the 10 he has a first down and he's safe yet again like he's playing and will be the show first and goal take it yourself baby take it yourself fat man take it yourself you're too hot to handle the game is tied when we got the ball it's 21 21 throwing that thing caught my boy jd making plays that's going to lead to a first down. Gain of 16. First down and 10. Fats looking. Taking a shot deep over the middle. Harris. Harrison is a man amongst boys, man. This is the tight end position. You get yourself a great athlete. I mean, my goodness gracious. Who knows what could happen when you have a great athlete at tight end.
Hopefully it's not just hype. Hopefully they're actually going to be a good football player for you too. Harrison makes the catch, and that's going to be a touchdown, 28 to 28. Second down and 12. What can we do? We're breaking tackles in the backfield. We're still rolling. We're still rolling. We throw it. That's going to be caught. And that's going to be a first down as we find the homie Kirk. So first and 10. Looking downfield. We're going to throw it. My boy Miller. He coming through. The two tied in look like with Tom Brady with the Hernandez guy and with the Gronk guy. It was epic back in the day with that two tied in formation. It really was. First down and 15. Taking the shot over the middle. That's going to be caught. And that's going to be a Tennessee first down. Now we're going to run the option. And the big man knows what to do with it. 35, 35, 40 seconds on the clock. We got to have it. Caught by Harrison. Makes the catch. And the Bearcats could be in trouble. 27 seconds on the clock. Harrison makes the catch yet again. We're in field goal range. Don't play around with him. First down and 10. We throw it to Harrison who is open. But he fumbles the football again. And that's going to send the game into overtime. We get the ball first in OT. We got to score a touchdown. We ain't playing around. I'm going to Harrison. Wide open. Nothing bad could happen. And nothing bad did happen. All right. Now they get the ball. Can they score? The answer to that question is a yes. So 42-42. They also get the ball for the second time for the second overtime. They get the ball first, I should say, in the second overtime. 45-42 now. We score a touchdown. The game is over. We get a field goal. The game shall continue. We don't get nada. We're going to be losing, but we ain't losing. Biggie Fats, Houdini, now you see him, now you don't. You see the ball, you didn't see the ball, it's in the end zone. Touchdown, y'all. 48 to 45 is the final. This right here was a classic. They're going to be talking about this forever. Or probably not because Tennessee, we're not supposed to be in games like this versus Cincinnati. I'm not saying that Cincinnati's bad. But when you're ranked in the top 25 and that team isn't, I mean, hey. At least my, I'm a, maybe my expectations are just a tad bit too high. But you know it is what it is. Biggie threw for 483 yards, four passing TDs, and three rushing TDs for 56 yards as well. This was technically the number one game on my profile so far. Hey, that's pretty cool. Anyways, man, I'm going to get about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.